Welcome back. It is that time again for you to sit back, relax, and let us show you the best of the best from the week that was. Well, we can finally turn the page on another high school baseball season. It's amazing to watch how the end of the season plays out. Some teams who you thought were for sure luck ultimately weren't. And some teams who have been trying to get over that hump, well, they finally did. Let's check out our top five plays of the week, all made by local athletes this week. Play number five, or rather, plays. Well, I think we should pay our respects to the ever so sacred baseball dog pile. Now, I've never been so fortunate enough, or unfortunate, however you want to take a look at it, to be in one of these. But it is what baseball is all about. Only the last team standing gets to experience it, and it's something that they will never, ever forget. Trust me, I asked the players. Play number four now. Let's go ahead and revisit that Dowling Johnson semifinal. After what was a five inning pitching duel, Johnson finally blew things wide open, loading up the bases on a pair of batters. Look at the big boy sliding in head first at home. That was Peyton Williams, but it was all thanks to Andrew Nord with his bases clearing knock. And in the blink of an eye, the Dragons had this game locked up. Williams and Nord, along with their fellow Johnson pitcher Jackson Vines, will all be attending Iowa in the fall on baseball scholarships. So very cool for them out there. Play number three now. Nice heads up play by Luke Lehman. Lehman from DNC. The Lynx base runner gets caught up in a quick pickle. The Lehman just barely grazes him with the glove, tagging him out, keeping that score off the board. Look at that. We'll slow it down for you. Just barely gets him. But hey, a tag is a tag. So that is good to go. Play number two. Well, you want to talk about dominating pitching performances this weekend. Look no further than this guy, Anthony Potoff. In yesterday's 2A championship game, the junior slinger tossed a complete game shutout, striking out five batters, and the Bulldogs won their second state title and their first since 2003. Very nice gem there, too, on the uh, pitch back or the uh, hit back up to the mound there. Finally, play number one in our top five plays. This right here is not just the play of the tournament, it is the play of the year. Johnson, bases loaded, trailing 7-2. Ty Cowley flies out in the air, robbing the Dragons of what would have likely been a bases clearing hit and possibly changing the momentum of this game. Now check this out. Here's how it sounded on the broadcast. Here's the one-two pitch. Line drive, deep left center field. Over to get to the ball and making a diving catch. Oh, what a great catch. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. I mean... Even the uh, the cameras didn't think that he was going to get there because look at him just like oh out of nowhere there he is there. out of nowhere that kid is so athletic mm -hmm. out in center field it really is impressive he's going to go play at Simpson College uh, in the.